Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I changed the battery of this mower and did it successfully on my first time ever. Alrighty, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, hello there. Today, we're working on this John Deere mower. It's an S100. Right there, right there, right there. Mine is, when you turn it, it's not clicking, it's not making a sound, it's not doing anything. So, what we're gonna do, and this is like, I'm sitting on it. The brake is, uh, the brake is on. Check the safety things. Um, the gear is out. The turtle's down. The stuff is going, whatever. So no movement at all. Uh, so I have this multimeter and we're going to check the battery here, which I already checked, but I'm just letting y'all in on the, the process. So I have this and we're gonna move it to 20 volts over here to check the battery. And we're gonna go red on red and black on black. All right, here we go for this, the red, black. And it's getting 0.01. So if you need a multimeter, this is available on Amazon. Um, I just got the one that could deliver uh, fast to me and it's pretty cheap. So uh, Astro AI digital multimeter, look in the link in the bio. And now we're gonna replace this battery. The first step, we're just gonna loosen the connections here. Let me zoom in for a little bit of better view. There's this little like connector thing that you just gotta remove. Remember, this is my first time doing it, so it seems pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So I got this battery. This battery I got from Home Depot. Uh, it is CCA Cold Startup um, 300 and then CA375 uh, U13T. And the battery that it comes with is 300. It's 300 cold as well, so that's good. And then it's also U1, so basically the same battery, but not made from John Deere. Uh, so hopefully it works. I figured it would. So it at least fits there. I'm gonna put the thing here. Make sure it stays in place. Get the red here, connection. And just a note on this, this battery is, um, the poles are switched. So if you look at like a car battery um, and you hold it up, the positive will be, I think, on the other end. I'm not sure I need to double check that, but just something. If you go to Home Depot, they have batteries with the positive on the left side and body batteries with the positive on the right side. So make sure you get which one your mower needs. All right, so we got those. Let's see if it starts up. message from my sponsor me make sure you subscribe go check out our home edition i built that up by myself it's pretty awesome all right back into the video <laughs> So that all works great. Those batteries are expensive, uh, 65, 70 bucks for this. Um, so it does work on, so that Home Depot battery does work on the lawnmower. And I did want to mention one other thing. I had a flat on this tire up here and I'm not sure if there was a nail in it or not. I never saw one, um, but I grabbed this also from Home Depot. It's called flat out uh, tire additive that prevents flats used half of it here and filled it up and it seems to be working so if you're looking for a flat fix too check that out last note here before i mow my yard because it's looking ridiculous um if your belt ever falls off of your john deere mower or probably any mower um, i do have a video on how to fix that nice and easy where to buy a new one um, if it accidentally gets cut up when it falls off and yeah go check out that video and i'll see you on the next video make sure you hit the subscribe all right thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions in the comments all right see you later see you out there Toodles.